And hello, uh, hello comrades, it is I, your most beloved comrade Derek. Um, it's been a long time comrades, it really has. And I wish it hadn't been such a long time, but, well, I'm Russian, I only, I only got so much, uh, so much energy in me. Uh, so let's first get what is probably on the dozen of you who actually regularly watched Russian Workshop's minds. Russian Workshop is, or has been, I should say, put on indefinite suspension. We do hope at some point we will be able to bring it back, but, um... Right now, it's just not looking that way. Comrade Father said he was tired of dragging junk out of the uh, out of the workshop, and the Russian government wouldn't take care of it. And the workshop was crowded with Comrade Father's stuff, and it's just it's just not feasible anymore. But uh, we do hope to bring it back at some point. How I don't know. We were going to do it out in the garage, but it wasn't the problem of too much noise in the basement. It was the problem of Comrade Father just got tired of carrying away the junk. So, until further notice, there is no more Russian Workshop planned. I believe we have 10 episodes of what was supposed to be Season 3. I think they're uh, over here on the computer, but I don't want to release 10 episodes because I have no idea when the second half, which would have been another 10 episodes, will be made. And I, and 10 episodes is too short for, uh, for a regular Russian Workshop session, uh, season. So, because that would have been what? Like, 8? something 16 something i can't remember exactly how many episodes the first season was off the top of my head but it'd be even shorter than that and that just doesn't sit well with me so i don't know what we'll do with those 10 maybe if we ever start uh, whenever we start this back up if we started uh, russian workshop back up maybe i'll put it in the canceled season three or something like that i don't know but uh as you can tell um you're actually, uh, I'm actually doing this by myself, and I don't have the regular camera here. You can probably tell in the quality and uh, the FPS and stuff like that. I was able to buy a new com uh, Chromebook, comrades. Uh, I took the old one, which is sitting over there in the counter. I took it to a repair guy. I said, it's going to cost more than what it's worth. I said, all right. Uh, I had to wait till I got paid again. Because uh, once Russian Workshop was put on indefinite suspension, the funds from the Russian government suddenly dried up. And yeah, so I got paid, I uh, went to capitalist eBay, uh, found uh, the first thing that came up was an ad for this particular, this particular Chromebook. It was three, uh, free shipping, three day shipping, uh, at the same specs as the old one. It was only slightly used and honestly, the only point of damage is, I don't know if I could show you this. Yeah, I don't think I could, uh, oopsies. Uh, I don't think I could bend the camera down low enough, but basically there's like a patch right about there on the Chromebook uh, that is that is like burnt. It looks like it got like overheated or something. I'm not quite sure. But besides that, that's the only bit of damage. It works fine. And so now I'm happy because it that thing, that ancient laptop that I edited Russian Workshop on, well, it's a laptop. It has a CPU in it. CPUs heat up. The fan on that thing is garbage. And so if I sat there and tried to, do crap in my lap, it would heat up and burn a hole through my leg. That is not fun, comrades. So, I got a Chromebook again. Yay, because it's lighter than that thing. It's about the same size, I'd take a guess. 13 inches, I think. But uh, it is still lighter than that thing, and it doesn't heat up. So now I can lay in bed and do whatever. Write, go on Facebook, etc. I am in the process of putting together a, uh, a supercomputer of sorts, but, uh, well, without uh, Russian government funds, I don't make a lot of money in my regular job, and all the prices of everything went skyrocketing after a uh, uh, capitalist Christmas to where it was just, it's not going to happen anytime soon, comrades, unfortunately. I do have the tower and the power supply, but everything else is just really, really expensive. Uh, and even the power supply, I think the one that I got, it said it was like, I think 60 something dollars. And then after the, after capitalist Christmas, it suddenly was $120 because yay. Yeah. I'm not logged in. I'm not logged in on my, on my particular website that I use to do this stuff on. Uh, remember me, please. I do not get remembered enough. All righties. 
Now that that is done, let's go to no PC. Do 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 do. So yeah, let's see here. The video card that I want, two hundred eighty-seven dollars. Uh, yeah, the power supply that I originally got, yeah, it was seventy. Now it's ninety. So re really, the two big things that are blocking me uh, is the CPU and the uh, the video card. I would have to save up multiple paychecks. Everything else I could, in theory, buy in one paycheck. Uh, the motherboard, I had to change some things because my original stuff just was not. It, it was just way too expensive. It was like four hundred dollars for things, and that for a CPU and and for an out of four hundred and fifty for the graphics card, it just wasn't worth it. But comrades, that is all in the past. Uh, I will eventually put together that, and hopefully, we'll eventually do uh, gaming style videos here on randomly entertaining, which I changed the name and then also misspelled the name because Russia, I guess. Special socialist sports drink. That is currently piss warm. So, if you've noticed, not only did I change the channel name, but also new uh, special kind of videos showed up. That's it's something like uh, stream the video test or whatever. Because as, as I found out, uh, Xbox One has a, uh, I think I explained this in the video, but Xbox One has a streaming service where if I'm playing, you know, Fallout or Metro or something like that, and I feel like I want to stream, I just go ahead, set up the account, boom, I'm starting streaming on my Xbox. And we, me and Comrade Chris thought, you know, we could like record one hour streams, then download the stream off the Microsoft's website, then chop it up to 15 minute videos using the video editor, pretty it up. And throw it out as a Let's Play series. But it turned out the work on that was a lot harder than it seemed. A lot harder. So we're probably just going to wait till the supercomputer uh, is done. Which uh, leads me to the other thing. Since Russian Workshop is on indefinite hiatus, I decided... Comrade Chris does not know about this. I have not told him. Uh, but I'm sure he'll see it eventually. Uh, I'm going to do... Reviews on things uh what I, whatever it be uh the video games uh, movies and uh a new interest that i have i i am the the manliest of manly russians you know oh, i can't reach that yes this is my special counter that i keep lots of stuff on uh i am the manliest of men you know russian vodka and etc which when I got this one at the store, I was like, the hell is this shit? I actually didn't even know this where that vodka was because I wasn't expecting that design. I was expecting the the standard kind of frosted-ish clear bottle that it previously came in. But apparently it's some kind of limited edition or whatnot, and there's like four variations and stuff, but hey. So I have had a new interest, and even though I'm the manliest of Russians, of uh, Americans pretending to be Russians, whichever, whichever. Uh, I'm also going to do reviews on that most joked about thing in the entire internet, anime. Because, believe it or not, comrades, I like anime. I like it a lot. A lot. I can already tell that my Russian accent isn't quite what it was once was. But they're not doing it for months on end, we'll do that to you. Oh yeah, it's a do it to you. He can see completely good bargain. I think that's, I think that's Italian. Maybe, maybe it's Irish. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, I'll start doing uh, reviews on anime that I've watched, which I will not be doing in my Russian accent. This will be the last time you will hear me attempt to do a Russian accent, or a very, 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 very shitty version of a Russian accent, which I really don't think is Russian. I think it's more just a dumbass hillbilly. In his, in his basement kind of accent. But anyways, anyways, comrades, uh, this was just a little update to let you know. Russia Workshop is on indefinite suspension. I got the new Chromebook, which means I can do uh, videos again. 
uh, what else? Let's let us see what else is going on. What else did I mention in this video? Oh yes, I am slowly building a new computer, so hopefully, eventually, we'll have uh, gaming style videos on here, and uh, I will be doing reviews of of my favorite anime or games or my opinions on gaming stuff or whatnot or maybe even political opinions. Just some content for the people who are on, on this channel wishing for it, which I know it, YouTube claims I have 30 subscribers, but I'm pretty sure only like 10 of them actually watch any of this. That happens. But anyways, comrades, that is the point of this video. I am so sorry about the Russian workshop, but it is just something that happens. Life, life has a tendency to kick you in the balls when you don't want it to. Because, I mean, who likes getting kicked in the balls besides masochists? Like the one dude who nailed his balls to the cobblestone outside the Kremlin. Because Russia! So until next time, comrades, uh, until we are fated to meet again, it is I, your most beloved comrade, uh, Derek, uh, and comrade Chris and Darius here in spirit. Signing off, I will see you all later.